another question, and again, this one came up actually from every single parent that I spoke to. Um, and the question was, will other children in the class slash their parents know if my child has an EHCP or is an SEN learner? Um, okay. Sometimes it might be very obvious to the other children. Children are very good oh. at picking up when children are different and have difficulties. Um, so, you know, is the school going to share the fact that the child has an EHCP or they're a SEN learner? I suspect not. You know, there are data protection issues. But the reality, you know, the reality is, is that children pick up on differences between children. So that is not something which I would let um, concern me were I a parent. And mm. I would just, you know, agree with whatever the school felt necessary, whether that be an EHCP or putting them on the SEN register um, and so forth. Uh, I, I don't see that as an issue. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think that question sort of came off the back of some discussions around concerns over bullying, name calling um, and sort of issues with other children on. And, you know, that I suppose that stigma that is unfortunately still there on whether parents will have an opinion around that child coming over for tea or to a sleepover and unfortunately it shouldn't be the case but that that stigma can still can still occur so i think it's quite a concern on whether that information would be public um the, but the as, information as said, wouldn't be public but the children will pick up on it yeah yeah but as you like said it. there are issues around data protection um, and that's definitely something to look into if you're a parent and, and you're concerned about that to sort of put your mind at ease. But, um, you know, and some, sometimes, you know, the, it works the other way. Sometimes um, you get situations where parents are complaining about the behaviour of a particular kid in the class and then it is helpful for the school to be able to say, look, you know, we are aware this child has special needs. This is what we're doing to meet them. You know, very sorry. There's not much we can do about this. You know, this is a, you know, in, in the school, you know, we, we take everyone. And, you know, that, that is how it is. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Um, so, you yeah. Know, it, it might, it might be, it, it certainly might be in the parents' interests for these issues to sometimes be explained to other parents. And generally Definitely, schools yeah. are very, School. Most schools are fairly good at sort of in terms of explaining things to children. If you don't have a child with special educational needs, or you don't know of a child uh, within your family or your community, it, it might be quite easy to dismiss behaviour as just naughty behaviour and children acting up, rather than you know acknowledging and recognising that there may be a reason for that behaviour. And like you say, for the school to be able to explain that could actually help to rectify a situation before it um before it continues to grow.